Hey guys, it's me, Jennifer Bian, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and like, comment, and all that jazz, and let me know what you think. Also, please click the notification bell to be notified every time I post, and my social media will be somewhere here if you'd like to follow, come through. My Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and literally everything is very, very girly, so come through. Hi guys, this is my what's on my iPhone 12 Pro. This is my case, I got it from Caseify. If you want your own case from Caseify, I have a code. Um, I'll put it up right here to save some coin on a case. They customize and send it to me, it says Jennifer. Um, I love it. It's a little too like street style Soho for me to be honest, but like it's still super cool. It's not like 100% me, it's definitely a version of me. It's not girly at all or anything, so maybe at some point I'll get a new case. And um, this is my cover photo, super basic, super boring. It's just cozy. So this is how I structured it when you unlock my phone. I have like a very beige background. This is like the only thing I really have. I played around with a lot of widgets before, but then I realized that I kind of don't need them at all and they mean nothing to me. So I decided to change that. But here I have this cute little pink calendar, which I absolutely love. And I think it's from the widgets app. Yeah, Widget Smith. And then I have like the weather, which like it goes from the weather to like random photos of me. So my main four apps are Google. I just love to just go straight to Google. Spotify. This is my Spotify playlist. I was just listening to Wisdom by Mother Mother. And then I have Instagram, of course. And this is my Instagram. Come follow me. It's at Jennifer Biana. And yeah, I got a new camera. So I've been taking lots of pics. And then I also have my wallpapers from all my wallpaper videos. Like if you want them, they're all like in this highlight. And keep up with what I'm doing. I'm always posting like Instagram stories. So totally check it out. Then I have my messages, I have 41 unread messages. Aha, anyways. So I have a folder called Essentials, which is Pinterest. Also come through on Pinterest. I love Pinterest, this is my Pinterest. Then obviously YouTube, Twitter, Facebook Messenger, TikTok. Come follow me on TikTok. I just made a new TikTok like three minutes ago, so this is why. But um, definitely come follow me if you wanna see more of the stupidity that is my life. Then I have Facebook, barely use that. Snapchat, I only really use to see memories because I am a sad boy at heart. And then I have phone. Then I have period tracker and then I have FaceTime right here. Then I have settings and then I have shopping. All of these, by the way, like since I just got the new phone, I haven't like used these yet. So that's why like I still have to like download them. Here I have Urban Outfitters and then I have Wish. And then I have AliExpress, DHgate, Amazon, Poshmark. I definitely had a DHgate and AliExpress phase. I totally don't anymore. I probably should just delete them at this point because I do not. Oh, the only one I really use is Amazon. Or I think Urban Outfitters, if you have the app, you get like a percentage off like if in store. So like that's probably the only reason why I have it. Then I have Insta, which is basically just like photo editing. Even though I don't even use these anymore, I've just gotten so into like Adobe Lightroom Classic and like Photoshop, I literally don't use these anymore. I have camera, Photoshop mix, command, which is like to view your feed or whatever. Nichi, I do love for Instagram stories. They're like super dope. PS Express, which is like the one I use for wallpapers, as you guys know if you watch my wallpaper vids. Photos, I just took a bunch of photos. 52,000. Yeah, so I also run a lot of people's Instagram pages, so it's just ridiculous at this point. I have no idea how to get a control over everything because I just hate deleting things because it's just like, like I would literally pay someone to just go on my phone and delete unnecessary shit because like I just can't get myself to do that. I'm the worst, hi. And then I have Facetune, Visco, which I don't use anymore. Um, you can Makeup, it's a funny app if I'm ever bored to just put makeup on my guy friends. All these Adobe ones are just good for like making transparent things or whatever. B612, I think that has cute little effects. Prequel, I don't even know. Story Chic, oh, this one makes really cute stories because I'm a social media manager for a couple brands. So like I use, I make like a little fancy stories with those. PixArt, this one is like TikTok's favorite like little Photoshop tool. It's like really fun, it's stupid. Planoli is great to like plan out feed posts. Crop vid, just to like crop a vid, even though you don't really need that anymore. I guess you could just do that on your camera roll. Mojo, I think that's another Instagram story thing. VHS, I think that makes your video look like kind of like old or whatever. VHS vibes, oh my God, I need to go fast. How am I gonna get through all this? Okay, travel, so this is all travel stuff. This is like an airplane app, like to get like cheaper flights. Not that I've ever used it really. Google Maps, use it all the freaking time because I live in New York City, so I'm always mapping out how to get places. This is like the bus schedule in New York City. Embark is like the train schedule, even though you don't need it anymore. I remember a time when I desperately needed it because I told you how far the train is, but now the train, like all train stations like just tell you anyways. Visit a city. This is like a cool thing. It tells you like what to do when you're in a city, like little tour city attractions. JetBlue, the JetBlue app. I think when you're like on a JetBlue flight, it like gives you movies and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Mobile Pass. I think that's just like 
for airport stuff. Uber, of course. Meter, oh, that's just to pay your New York City like meter. You don't have to get out of your car, you just pay from the app. Airbnb. Gmail, my best friend. And then I have a folder just called money. <laughs> just Venmo, Chase, and Cash app. Citizen, which is my favorite app. I'm joking. It's a really sad app, but like people are wild in on there. It's like literally the yik yak of New York City. It's just like basically a crime app and it tells you all the crimes are happening, but people can comment on it. So like you guys know that is wild. Then I have clock alarm. I don't know why it's his own separate thing, but like here it is. I guess it's super important for me. And then I have iPhone things. So all the iPhone things. CoStar. I use CoStar a lot, unfortunately. Then I have a food one. So it's like the Starbucks app, the Baskin Robbins, Dunkin', Grubhub, DoorDash, you know, you know, you know. The only one I really use besides Grubhub is Starbucks, but I haven't used it recently as you could see because like it hasn't been working for me as of late I think the Starbucks near me hasn't been taking like mobile orders I don't know what's going on, but like I usually use that a lot the pattern which is like another co-star app But they like really roast you like it's it goes hard and then I have clarity Which is a really cool relationship app. You guys should definitely check it out It's like love advice and all that fun stuff. Oh, and then I have my battery That's an important widget for me is seeing how much battery I have then I have a docs folder Which is all my like document stuff like drive Google Docs Google Slide Quizlet, which I don't use anymore, so I don't need it. Um, but Dropbox, Google Excel, Notes, Shortcuts. It's like an Apple made app. It gives you like random shortcuts to like life and existing. It's actually pretty cool. Amazon, Kindle, which I have my textbooks on. And I have Translate. A talk -a tone which is basically to like call people in like different countries. So I use that for that. iMovie, I actually do use this sometimes like for like little short Instagram videos uh, for brands that I work for. So yeah. Uh, Google Hangouts, so that's also used for brand work. Um, Bumble, absolutely hate Bumble. We'll delete Bumble, worst dating app. Duolingo, do not use it. <laughs> I tried to learn German once when I was going to Germany on the airplane. <laughs> it kind of taught me some things like Guten Tag. Tinder, that exists. Hinge, Hinge is the best dating app. I'm saying that right now. Hinge, I love you, you're the best. Meow talk, translates meows. But this is everything my cat has been saying. This one particularly where she said, where's my dad? Girl, I'm trying, like, like stop it. I'm trying to find a man, leave me alone. Another translate app, Fishbowl. This is just a fun little stupid app for cats to play on. Student, me, oh, this is not a cat app. <laughs> <laughs> this is a networking app. Oh my god. I completely forgot about that Kick why why do I still have that remove that immediately? I don't even ever like look at my apps. I just search things up productivity mail if I could delete this app, I would, God. Preview, which is basically to like see your whole IG feed. Photo widget and widget smith. We talked about that. Yes. Face app. Don't know why I have that. I need to remove that. It's a scary app. Netflix, Among Us. God, I hate Among Us. Do not even come at me. I, I hate Among Us. Then I don't know why I have Chrome when I have Google, but I do. So then I have Hulu. Then I have Episode. Don't laugh at me. Episode. I actually really like that app sometimes when I'm desperate. There were a lot of good stories that really got me. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I haven't used it recently, but like when I travel, like when I'm on an airplane or some shit, like that goes hard, dude. I don't know. Tuya Smart. It's just like an app that controls like outlets. Sky view is really cool to like look at like the stars in the sky and like astrological things like it's like really cool And it like shows you exactly like what's above you. It's WhatsApp. I use it too much for you know work stuff And then I have a hee hee app. I guess I just didn't know what to title it another video crop loop video I have so many freaking video things LinkedIn <laughs> LinkedIn is I guess clarified as hee hee. Oh, that's what the Apple watch and then I have Sony headphones Oh, yeah, I don't use them anymore, but I have them. I guess it's Google meet um, which I use a lot and then I have trivia royale This is such a fun game, dude like you guys should use it. It's so fun. It's literally quizzes on anything. They even have an Animal Crossing quiz or like a Pokemon quiz or like a physics quiz. It's so fun. And you do it with random people all around the world. My friend Medin put me onto that. I have Time Passage. I think that might be another astrology app. I don't know. Headliner is a cool app to use for like little podcast videos, which I do a lot for brands. Sanity and Self. I think maybe I was trying to meditate. Grammarly, someone told me to download that as a disc because my grammar is awful. Duffit works with like a smartwatch that I have if you want to check out that video. I have you. 
right here. You could look at the end card. <laughs> These are all like podcast Instagram video things. Imaging Edge is basically like a camera connecting thing so that I could see what's happening on my camera on my phone. I hope you guys like this video. I feel like they're boring, but like you guys tend to like them. Hi, I'm cutting into this video to talk about a brand that I am super, super excited about. <laughs> Coop sent me a lovely pillowcase, a lovely little eye mask, and a pillow itself. I have it all right here. I'm gonna look into it and then we're gonna talk a bit more about it. But I love sleepwear, me and my bed right now. Like I love cozy, really beautiful things. So I'm so excited to look into the products they sent me. Coop sent me this beautiful silk pillowcase, which I love silk pillowcases. Silk is really good for your hair and I've definitely noticed a better result with my hair when I sleep on silk. It makes your hair like less crazy in the morning. And it's also really good if you have like a really sensitive face like I do. I love silk pillowcases so much. And I think they sent me a silk eye mask too. And I am just oh, so excited. They have a bunch of cute like little bundles on their website. So make sure to check them out. They have everything for sleeping. Okay, so let's get into it. I have like a whole thing. So everything with Coop is vegan and cruelty free, which is my favorite thing in the world. Um, love that, live for it. The company is based online, but they do offer a 100 night sleep trial just so you can make sure that the pillow is right for you. And all the pillows come with a five year warranty as well. And also Coop pillows are completely washable. Like you could just wash them. Like how crazy, wild, love that. Okay, so let's get into the pillow afterwards. You know, that's the most important one, but let's see the little eye mask. I believe this is the eye mask. I think I have one in pink. Now I'm gonna have one in white. It's like this beautiful, oh my God, it feels so soft. I have makeup on, so I am not even gonna mess with this. Look at how gorgeous. It feels very light and nice and like airy and you know, so I feel like that would be really good for sleep. And it's silk, so it feels so nice. Oh my God. <laughs> Me personally, I'm excited for this pillowcase. So I got it in the color Queen Cream. So it matches, it's all cream. Oh my God. It is so light and nice. Oh my God. I wish you guys could feel it. Like I wish that was the case. Um, and obviously there's a zipper right here. Oh, it just feels so light and nice. This is the pillow that I'm using right now. I'm excited to upgrade because this is literally such an old, disgusting pillow. And also just like this feels so nice. I am so excited to sleep on silk. There are so many good benefits to sleeping on silk. If you have like frizzy hair, it like defrizzes your hair in your sleep. And it also prevents like nodding in your hair while sleeping. Cause you know, if you move around a lot and it feels so light, so nice. So I totally recommend going on to couponegoods.com and getting yourself a silk set. Let's get into the pillow. Okay, so this is how it comes. Also just like aesthetic. What is going on? So the first thing that shows up is this like, um, it's customizable. Like you could add some into your pillow. So it comes with this like instruction thing, how to prep your pillow before you use your coop pillow. Put your pillow in the dryer on low for 10 to 15 minutes with a couple of dryer sheets. This allows the pillow to expand. No dryer, fluff it up by hand. I do not have a dryer. I will be fluffing it up by hand. And then it gives you like how to adjust it. If you're a side sleeper, try as is, add or remove foam as needed. Back sleeper, remove one fourth of the foam. Stomach sleeper, remove about one third of the foam. And then there are like video tutorials as well. Use a mirror front facing camera to check your alignment. If your neck appears to be tilted upwards, remove fill. If your neck appears to be sloping downwards, add fill. Oh my God, so there's like a whole thing to customize it, which is wild. Oh, original pillow queen, adjustable cross cut memory foam and microfiber pillow. We love to see it. So they have like a bunch of different styles of pillows as well. And they also have a quiz like based on your sleeping style, which pillow you should get, which is just like so amazing. Okay, I know that I might have to cut it. They also have a feature you could video chat one of their sleep experts to like figure out which would be the best like pillow for you, which is wild. They do so much. This is so comfy. Oh my God. You're lying. Oh my God, I have a new pillow. <laughs> Definitely check them out. The link is in the bio. Thank you so much, Coop Home Goods. I genuinely really love their products. Like, and I'm not just saying that, like I genuinely do. I think everything feels so nice. The pillow is amazing. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.